F sharp. C. Stop. E. How the heck do you do that? All the girls said no. He had a lot of lonely nights with his guitar. I never get the first time I saw you do this. I was blown away. You're doing okay. first tune, you're just shredding. They would say stop. You wouldn't even look. You would just tell them the name of the note. And I do not have perfect pitch, by the way. No, so no, no do I. I've met a few people with perfect pitch. I didn't like any of them. No. Sorry. I don't like them. Not good. So, learning the names of your notes is so very important on guitar. Yes, it is. I'm blown away. You know, so many people, new students that are like intermediates or like adults returning to guitar. Sure. They blow me away. I ask them to play a C sharp and they just look at me like, I don't know what a C sharp is. Right. And, you know, it's not that hard. No. And you can be a, a more literal, or at least a, a guitarist more able to communicate right. by just learning the natural notes on your guitar. Yeah. So let's talk about the musical alphabet. Uh, the, the guitar is a 12-tone instrument, like right. all the notes, uh, all the instruments in the orchestra. Mm -hmm. And we're going to learn the natural notes today, which are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, I like the way you do. It's the cha-cha-cha. Hi, Lily. So the natural notes on the guitar... I think one of the easiest ways to learn them is just to learn the first or the open position of guitar. That's right. that's kind of what we do when we learn how to read music, but I'm not asking anyone to read. Don't be intimidated by Get the off notes. Off a bed. <laughs> so we're going to play a C major scale, and I'm not going to start on C because the lowest note on guitar is E. Right. And we're going to run through three or two notes per string until we've played all the natural notes on all six strings. So let's go. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Here we go. On the sixth string, we're going to start with open first fret, and then third fret, that'll give us E, F, G. Right. On the fifth string of the guitar, we will do the open, and then second, and third frets. That's A, B, C. Next string is the same thing. Open, second, third, gives us D, E, F. Third string, we got two notes. Open G and A on the second fret. Back to three notes on the second string, B, C, and D, open, first fret, third fret. Finally, whatever you do on this E string, you can do on this E string. So I'm going to play open, yeah, open, first, third, E, F, G. Hold that thought. <laughs> you cool? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I'd say we should cut this, but no, 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 we're no this is set. live. This is going. This is this is quality this entertainment. Is it. So those are all of the notes <laughs> in the uh, open or first position of the guitar, and it's a great way for you to get started. You know, all of your open chords, like a G chord, lowest note in the G chord is a G. Your C chord, lowest note in the C chord is a C. All the bass notes, the notes that give the chord its first name. My knee still hurts, by the way. <laughs> is an E or an E major. <laughs> The lowest note is totally what gives it its name. So it's good stuff. And that's one great approach to it. But you have another approach, don't you? I do. I do. Talk first, first I'd like to um, explain uh, what a whole step is and what a half step is. Ah, okay? go for it. Yeah. It's a unit of measurement. Right, right. It's the distance between two notes. Okay. So a whole step is going to be, if I play the third fret here and I ask you to move up a whole step, a whole step is two frets. Okay. So I would go one, two. So the distance between the third fret and the fifth fret is a whole step. Mm -hmm. If I ask you from the second fret to the third fret, that's a half step, one fret, okay? Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, what I like to do is make believe there's a fret back here. Okay? Right, a zero fret. A zero fret. If yeah, you know. that's cool, I like it. So I put my finger here, What's the first letter of the alphabet? A. A. So we're going to start there. Okay. Um, from an A to a B is a whole step. Right. A B to a C is a half step. Ah, so that's one of the two spots on guitar where the natural notes are right next to each other. Yes. B to C and then and later e to on. F. Yeah, we'll see that later. Okay. So A to B, whole step. B to C, half step. Right. C to D, whole step. D to E, whole step. Cool. E to F. That's the other occasion. Half step. F to G, whole step. Right on space. G buddy. back to A. If you notice on a guitar, most of them anyway, yeah. the twelfth fret, there's double dots here. That's indicating everything's starting over again. Everything right. it's repeating. It's the octave fret. It's the octave. So and if this is an A, if this is an open A, right. 
That's an A. And that's the only fret on your guitar that has dots. That's actually on an even fret. I mean, if you have a 24th fret, maybe you might Ooh. have like a double dot on your 24th fret. Everything uh, else is odds. 3, 5, 7, 9, and then 12. Because yeah. it's 12 notes over the zero fret, sure. the open string, sure. if you will. Sure. So it's a little trickery. That's pretty cool. Absolutely. So you can do this on any string. That's important. Yes. So first, whatever the name of the string is, just start there. Always remember, only B to C and E to F are right. half steps. Everything else is a whole step. If you can remember that, yep. and you can remember the names of the strings, you can figure out every single note on the neck. Half steps, one fret distance. Yep. Whole step, two fret distance. Sure. And remember, whatever you do on this E string, you do on this E string. So, I mean, you get two for the price of one right off the that's, bat. That's a good way of putting it. And that's one third of your guitar. Done. Yes. So piece. E, E to F, F mm -hmm. to G, G to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. D to E. And you do it all over again on the first string. Yep. These are, are two really cool approaches you could take to learning the names of the notes on your guitar. And even if they just get you started with it, well, you're in a much better place than you were before. Right. You know, learning how to communicate with other people, it's, well, it's kind of the key to success in life, but definitely helps the music a whole heck yes, of a lot. Yes, it does. And this opens up a whole world for you later on. It does. On. When you're learning chords, when you're learning bar chords. Sure. Opens up, you can play your bar chord in any position that you want. But you have to know where let's say an A note is, you have to know it's here, and then you can play the ball chord there, and it's in, in this case an A major ball chord. Nice. Can we do the game one more time? Excuse me? Can we do that game again one more time? Sure. Shred. Stop. C. I hate you. I'm sorry. I Did had it. a very lonely, lonely childhood. I know, John. You told us. It's going to be all right. All you right. have friends now. Well, now Say it's hi. nice. Now it's nice. I'm Paul Vario. I'm John Bavona. And thanks for joining us today. Um, once again, please hit the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And you can check us out on Patreon.com where we have exclusive tips and content for you to have some fun with. And thanks for joining us today. Guitar Slinger TV. Oh, man. I said join us today again. That's all right. I got to work on this. I got to work on this. Yeah, go with it. Join us.